everyone! Hi! Today we are doing a makeup tutorial oh. and I am going to do Brooke's makeup and it's going to be focused on what kind of look to wear when you're wearing your hair. Oh. So, and the reason why I'm sitting on her lap is because we're really squished to the wall right now. But we do love each other that much, don't we, Brooke? We do. Okay. Yes, so I have got my t-shirt on so that it doesn't ruin what clothes I'm wearing. The makeup doesn't ruin it. I'm not that messy. <laughs> Let's jump right in! Okay! So hello, I'm over here and Brooke's right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is use this primer. It's actually by Elle. Look how purple. It's so cool. It helps counteract redness. It helps blend in and softens pores and makes the makeup just glide on so smoothly. It's a very gross day in Nashville right now. Put my hair back because it was gray. When put on some the EOS lip balm, Brooke's favorite. It is the best. I wake up in the morning after I put it on in the night and I'm just like feeling yeah. like pink bitty. <laughs> Alright, next we're using this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. All of a half vice. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer 15 Fair. I actually wouldn't We've used this concealer for quite a while now. Forever. It's one of the best um, drugstore uh, concealers. So we do it on like around her nostrils because that's usually where people get redness. <laughs> Doesn't she look so attractive? to like drag a whole lot because that's just gonna wipe it right off. I mean in order like when you first start going sometimes you have to do that but then by the end you just want to pat it because you don't want it to wipe it off. This is a full face of makeup. This is not a natural I'm not wearing any makeup look. It's just a it's more of a day glam look and because she's gonna be wearing her hair up I'm gonna put a lot of focus on to her eyes. This is the L'Oreal True Match uh, super blendable powder. What a cute nose. He has such a cute little nose. Oh, thanks. I tried my best to grow it that way. <laughs> you just focused real hard. I just focused real hard. We are curling her lashes before we even curl her lashes by doing this. We're also, we're also making sure that the concealer that we put on stays in place. It doesn't just wipe off during the wear throughout the day. And the biggest thing is to blend. We want to blend like crazy. We don't want any harsh lines going on her jawline. And then we'll bring it down her neck a little. Again, just to make sure that everything is blended in so smoothly. I know I look, I look bald at the moment, but that is the price you pay. <laughs> <laughs> for makeup? For makeup. Oh, yeah. You have to look bald for a little bit. Yeah, I always said to Brooke, like, when we were little, I was like, trust me, makeup looks terrible at first when you look like just a ghost and you have no eye makeup on or anything like that. So, start scary and beautiful. She never used to let me look at myself while she was doing my makeup. I was like, she only saw. I only saw the before and after. Yes. Okay, so, right now, I'm just taking this really, really, really light uh, Maybelline New York, um, the Fit Me? Yeah, Fit Me powder. Just underneath her eyes, where the kabuki brush didn't exactly focus on. Right What's a brush. kabuki brush one? The kabuki brush was a little fat brush I just used all over your face. Ah. Yes. <laughs> A lion head brush. This is an Eco Tools uh, just blush brush. Uh, we're using it actually. Yes. And then this is uh, our bronzer we're gonna use. It's by Model Co. And we got this in our Birch Box. Love our Birch Box. It's a monthly subscription, um, and they send you sample sizes of like amazing products. But okay, so now I'm taking that bronzer from her ear underneath her cheekbone because we want to create that natural contour where the, the foundation kind of takes away any natural form because it just kind of wipes everything out. Again, the key here is really, really blending. And this bronzer actually does have, it's not just a straight up contour powder, so it does have some shimmer in it. So I'm kind of using it on her cheekbone as well. But I'm not going farther than her cheekbone. You see that? Like it just stops right here. You can see the difference in her. So cheekbone? Not cheekbone. You can see even just looking straight. I'm just going around because 
because I want to go in her, I want to go on her forehead and on her temples to kind of create just the illusion of being bronze and just connecting the, the contour that we have here. We don't want to have super harsh. I'm doing the same thing kind of on her jawline from her ear jawline down to the neck again. It's just blending it all in, making it look as natural as possible with a lot of makeup. <laughs> Perfection actually draws the like eye almost away. Like it is just not interesting. Did you hear that, followers? <laughs> Again, see, see how far I'm like taking this. I just wanted to look. I just don't want that makeup like streak. Like, oh look, there's where the makeup begins. Don't want that at all. Okay. So your little imperfections are attractive. It's true. They draw the eye in a good way. Mm -hmm. This is the Bare Minerals blush. I'm going to be using a brook and I'm using Golden Gate. Now that bronzer already had um, an added a good bit of dimension on her. So this isn't so much dimension. I just want it to look like she has a natural rosy glow. Almost like she just went for a run, but you know, it's freezing out. So that'd be crazy. Or she just got flushed because she just saw some guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. taking the same kabuki brush and I'm just blending everything in, not really adding anything, I'm just wanting to blend it all out, making sure that nothing is too harsh. Now, usually we don't spend this much t time on our makeup. When we have the time, it's fun to be a little more into detail about bronzer and all of that fun stuff. I'm taking some more of the bronzer and I'm actually gonna bring that more down on her neck because it's still, it was, I was just using what was left on the brush and I don't think it blended in as much as I wanted it to. Excuse me while I put my hand down your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> just the color, staying appropriate, PG here. <laughs> stuff your face with stale food Saturday. Is it still marshmallows? It's the only way I like eating marshmallows. But I won't eat it now. I'll just keep it there, taunting me. So we're gonna use the Laura Mercier uh, highlighter, and this is gonna go on top of her cheekbones, where the contour, the bronzer went below, right below. We're gonna do right on top of her cheekbones to give her that natural, almost dewy look. Although she's wearing, dewy. although she's wearing a lot of makeup. I was literally so hoping you would say dewy. She follows this. Oh, she follows a lot of makeup <laughs> people on YouTube. But there's this one that she said dewy, I think like 50 times in her one video. And she has an accent and she's dewy. Dewy. Dewy, yeah. They have such a dewy look. And we're like, dewy? What's dewy? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that person. Yeah. She's, she's from New Zealand, actually. Awesome. And she's, she's really funny. But yeah, dewy. Dewy. Get that dewy. Dewy. to eyes now I think Brooke's chewing on a marshmallow <laughs> <laughs> so it's Inika I-N-I-K-A -I -I it's in eternal marine eyeshadow this is pretty like green aqua color I'm just doing this on the very outer corner of her eye and then I'm bringing it in some but I'm focusing on the outer corner it's where I want most of the color payoff to be again everything is about the blend take some of the same bronzer from Model Co and I'm actually going to take that and put it in the crease of her eyelid to create the natural shadow. Blending that Anika color and this perfectly together. I'm going to take this Ulta brand. It's just the glitter eye top coat in Fairy Princess. The Fairy Princess today broke. Like I said, we're gonna we're wanting most of the attention to be on her eyes, so that's why I'm adding some of this glitter. We don't want to get it above the brown that we put in there on in her crease because we don't want to um, take away from that contour color. Because it sparkles, it is gonna kind of get everywhere. And to kind of help that, you can pat like I'm doing instead of just like holding it because that's just gonna make more fall out. Okay, and we'll clean up underneath her eyes too. Um, I'm actually going to take some of this highlighter that I'd used earlier, the Laura Mercier, and I'm going to just use my finger and I'm going to go right underneath her eyebrow, giving it kind of a high point. And then taking just a tiny bit and going in the very inner corner of her eye as well. 
I'm going to take the same green Anika color that we used before and I'm gonna take this brush and I think it's actually by Arbonne, this brush is. We're going to pull that color on her lower lash line to connect the colors. is the Anastasia uh, powder and it's in dark brown. It's got the two colors in it and I'm gonna use this lighter shade. I start from the middle and go out towards the tail of the eyebrow um, because you don't want to start here because that's gonna look very unnatural. It's gonna give more of that deeper color on the front end which could make you look angry. So we don't want to look angry. We want to look happy and like our eyebrows are natural and filled in. So you start from the middle and go on out. You don't want to just go from the top either. That's going to be very harsh. So put more definition on the bottom and then you can kind of flick up when you start getting towards the beginning of the eyebrow. See the difference in eyebrow? Yeah, you just do that. Brooke's one of the lucky ones. She has a normal eyebrow. Some people, like Amy, have two very different eyebrows. Like I always say, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And we're sisters, not, not twins. twins. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take this Ico eyeliner and it's made in London, which is awesome. Or the, the company's in London. I'm not sure where it's actually made. Could be London. No, made in China. All right. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> we're just gonna do the top and we're gonna do really close to her eyelash bed. I'm gonna go one more coat just to fill in spaces where she needs a little more fillage. this kabuki brush again and I'm gonna go underneath because we have a little bit of that fallout from the sparkle of her eyeshadow. So we're going off camera to uh, curl the eyelashes. <gasps> we're Welcome! Back! She curled her eyelashes with uh, the brand Tweezer Man. So now we're gonna use Illegal Length by Maybelline. It's really? not really illegal, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> With eyelashes, if you are focusing more on going like on the outside from here, it's going to give you more of that kind of eye, but if you're looking to do mascara where it's opening up your eye, you want to bring your lashes more towards, instead of going like this, more towards up and to the middle. NARS lipstick and it is in Roman Holiday. That's what that looks like. It's cool. gonna go look pretty natural on Brooke, but on top of it, because I don't want it to be too pink and then her eyes like have that green color, so I don't want it to be overwhelmingly colored. So once I'm done with this, we're gonna go back over it, um, over the lipstick with a more uh, brown, sheer brown lip gloss. Okay, so see how pink that is, which is really nice, but we're wanting to make this look not as intense. I'm gonna go back over with this um, brown, and <laughs> sorry, I'm like, what was that? With this um, brown. <laughs> it's honestly, it's, I think this was like $3, I don't really know. That was like the first makeup that we ever bought, it was brown lip gloss. Yeah, that's true. Our mom was like, if you bring anything with you, bring brown lip gloss, and it works really well. Yeah. Okay, you see how this is just neutralizing that pink? The last final touch, we're going to add Brooke's little moles back. We use <laughs> the Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil, and it's just a brown eye pencil. We're wanting to make those Beauty Mark moles stand back out again because they're awesome. They're <laughs> part of my imperfections, so. Okay, we done! Let me take a picture of you. Um, so I'm gonna fix my hair to the way I want it to look and I'll show you the finished look. So that was fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> enjoyed that and um, we could do more videos like this Brooke really likes doing hair so she could do that and we want to do more fashion videos let us know if you have any recommendations or videos that you want to see beauty related it could be skincare it can be literally whatever so anyway we just are really glad you guys tuned in and doesn't Brooke look beautiful she always looks beautiful without or with makeup but it's fun to play with it around with makeup Brooke give them one more look the eyes really make it okay for me to just wear my hair up just throw it up whatever 
whatever and wear something very plain. Anyway, like I said, you guys, if you have any recommendations of videos, let us know and we'll talk to you later. Bye!